How did the victims get to help them? In the first period, <coughs> the victims were primarily brought by passenger train to Kolo, which was on the main line between uh, Lodz and Warsaw. They were taken off the passenger train in Kolo and put on the narrow gauge railway. The narrow gauge railway then took them to Pawechi, the station stop, and from there they were marched to Zabatka Mill. In all the cases, they stayed overnight in Zavadka Mill. They were transferred from Zavadka Mill the next morning to Kolmov to be killed. In some other cases, they were just brought directly from Zavadka to Kolmov. In the first period, the bridge over the uh, river Nair between Pawechi and Helmno had been blown up by the Poles in 39 uh, when they retreated. So actually, there was no way to... Uh, the, the, na- the narrow gauge railway didn't run at that point. It was only towards the end of the first period that they actually uh, fixed the bridge. So in the second period, the narrow gauge railway could take the victims directly from Kolo all the way to Helmno. And they disembarked at the station in Helmno and they were taken into the palace camp and then uh, from there on to the, the Valvo. In most cases, uh, Jews from Littmanstadt were put on trains from Radagast station on the outskirts or the suburbs of Littmanstadt, brought to Kolo and then transported to Helmno. There was no hard and fast rules. Some ghettos were cleared using trucks, and the Jews who were to be brought to Helmno were just brought directly by truck. In other places, I showed you a photograph earlier, they were taken to a station and then transferred to uh, Helmno. <coughs> One interesting uh, thing I've found recently, I found a file in uh, Ludwigsburg on a private company who uh, rented out two trucks to help them. This is a private German company with their drivers. And these guys are civilians. They were rented out to Helmno and they were being used by Helmno. Uh, the testimony I have uh, relates to September 42. And they were being used to go to ghettos with the SD and Gestapo to select Jews to bring to Helmno. This is a private company. This is not SD, Gestapo. This is just a private German company that's rented out its trucks and drivers. Again, it's the first time I've heard of this. I haven't seen this documented anywhere else. It's a very slim file (coughs) in uh, in, uh, Ludwigsburg. So, again, this very important testimony just shows this is almost like privatization. This is a private company going there, being paid, Mm. and... Actually, I have the testimony from, from the man who owned the company to say they weren't too happy in September 42 because there were not enough transports. So when they didn't work, they didn't get paid. So the head of the uh, company goes to the SD Gestapo in Posen and says, we don't want to work here anymore. We're not earning enough money. So the, the, them and the trucks are actually sent very interestingly to Treblinka, which also I'd never heard of. So this is a very, this is a new, very interesting fact. You know, we're not talking about it, just a few people involved here. We're talking about even private companies involved in the process. This is a photograph. Uh, I'm not sure exactly when it is. This is a photograph of Jews being marched from the Lodz ghetto, the Kishlev <coughs> ghetto, to Radigast station to be put on trains to Kolo. Again, uh, this is Radigast station on the outskirts of uh, Lodz, Littmannstadt. Uh, there is a very good memorial here now, if you've ever, ever been there. Uh, there's a memorial, this is the old station building. So the memorial includes the station building. Uh, they have a couple of cattle trucks, and they have a, uh, one of the locomotives, and there's also a very big memorial uh, to the murdered uh, victims of the Littmannstadt ghetto. This is the locomotive uh, that's part of the memorial. And in the background, you can see the very big uh, memorial to the murdered victims. So again, I just wanted to reiterate, because it's very important, this whole area is being used. So the main railway line, as you see, runs from Koro, uh, Lichtenstadt, Lodz, Warsaw. So the Jews have primarily been brought to Koro, first of all. They're then put on, this is the Narragage railway line you see here, in orange. 
so then I put on the narrow gauge railroad line here. In the first period, they're brought to Pawerchi, <coughs> which is uh, where they're taken off the train. They're then taken to Zavadka Mill, where they're kept overnight. Next day, they're either trucked to Helmel, possibly even walked. Uh, second period, the narrow gauge railway is fully working again, so they can take them all the way to the from Kolo and the narrow gauge railway all the way to Helmel. Photograph on the left is a modern day photograph of Kolo Station, which hasn't hardly changed since the war. The photograph on the right is very interesting. This is a photograph from 42, obviously taken by a German. What we show, what we see here is a passenger train on the right being unloaded from wherever it's come from, whether it's Lippenstadt or some other place, and put on open wagons of the narrow gauge railway. Again, yeah, Kolo is a, uh, a working station, so it still exists. We searched for a long time to, to find uh, these. The narrow gauge railway uh, in the area, Sampongo, Kolo, Dombie, and in the whole area, they were basically uh, shut down in the 50s and 60s, and all the tracks, most of the tracks ripped up and they were no longer used. Interestingly enough, the, 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 another fascinating thing I find about Poland is they, have, they keep everything. It's fan fantastic for historical study. So we find there are a number of railway museums dedicated to narrow gauge railways that exist in the Posen Lodz areas. Uh, we, we spent about four days going through the whole area trying to find some of the original uh, trucks and wagons used for the narrow gauge railway. And we find these in, in one of the uh, museums. So these are the exact, well, you can never say these exact wagons are used, but these are from the time and these match exactly uh, to the photographs because here this is in Parachi. This is the stopping off point. These are narrow gauge railway trucks so these are exactly the same wagons as these. It looks slightly different because this is on an embankment so they look higher. But this is exactly the same wagons, type of wagons, I should say. Yeah? So what's happening here is another fascinating aspect of this. It is 10 kilometers from Kolo to here. The Jews have been taken off the passenger train in Kolo station and put on open wagons used for transporting agricultural produce. And, they, and they've taken on the line the 10 kilometers from Kolo to Pawachi. There are, there are people are working here, there are farmers everywhere. This is not hidden, you know? this is not a SS area that's fenced off. This is just part of the normal everyday life. You know? People are living and working in this area. And yet Jews are being shipped from uh, Kolo Station on open agricultural trucks. And nobody can be in any confusion as about what is to happen. So we've been trying, actually, although not successfully yet, to try and buy one of these wagons from the museum for, uh, from the railway museum for Commonwealth, because to us this is iconic. <coughs> uh, one of these should be in the museum, in our opinion. But we weren't able to negotiate it. Uh, obviously we need to improve our negotiation skills. But th this should be done, because this is very important. These are again from Judge Bednash. These are photographs of the Zabatka <coughs> Mill on, on the river. This is where, they, in the second period, the uh, sorry, in the first period, the, 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 the Jews were kept overnight before being shipped to cut them off in uh, trucks. This is a photograph. This is the the mill which is actually destroyed after the war, is on the right-hand side. There's a little bridge here across the river. So we have many testimonies that after having cremated uh, the bodies of the victims in the <coughs> lager, 
sacks were filled full of the uh, cremated remains uh, and the members of the Zonda commando would actually turn up here as a vodka mill on the bridge and actually tip the sacks of, uh, of, of the, r the remains of the victims into the river. So, yeah, this is where the remains of the victims were deposited. They were just dumped in the river. So as I said as well, another photograph from the time, this is uh, the ghetto in uh, Vlok, I can't even pronounce it, so Vlok, Vlok Lapnik ghetto, uh, and they yeah, were obviously transported directly by truck. So there's a number of means of the victims uh, arriving in Helmand, it wasn't just uh, directly by train. So we talked a little bit